In diagnosing car problems, oftentimes we find out that the battery is the whole problem after all. Sometimes we've wasted a lot of time, put in parts, come to find out that the battery was the issue all along. And with today's vehicles being so dominated with electronics, the battery condition is vital. I've been working on cars for a long time, and I can remember the good old days when we simply took the battery charger, hooked it up, plugged it in. Now some of them would even have a dial indicator that we could say, well, let's let it charge for 30 minutes or an hour. We'd hook it up, plug it in, walk away. When it shut off, we'd come back, and we would assume that that battery is fully charged. Well, that may have worked in the good old days, but with the cars with the electronics in them today, that could be a costly mistake. With today's different type of batteries in our cars, we really need a smart charger. So what is a smart charger? It's smaller, it's lighter, for sure. But it's got software in it and it's got advanced technology so that it will charge that battery in the most efficient manner. Now I know most of you are saying, I don't get it. Let me explain. Does anybody remember this? The first mobile phones came in a bag and had a fixed antenna they were kind of heavy, and all they did was make phone calls. Shortly after that, they did away with the bag. They became a little bit lighter, but all they did was make phone calls. Then they got smaller. They had a retractable antenna, the flip phones, but still, all they did was make phone calls. They got smaller and faster and started adding features, and now we have the smartphone. What made this all possible? advanced technology. Now we all have them and we carry them around in our pockets. And yes, I do mean all of us. Here's the point. The technology in the battery chargers has changed just like smartphones. Are you keeping up? So battery chargers have advanced over the years and are now smart chargers. Here's what goes on behind the scenes of a NOCO battery charger. Old battery chargers simply turned on and started sending current. On more expensive units, there's usually a selector switch that allows you to choose how much current and how much time you wanted it to stay on. So basically, you turned it on and it started pouring current into the battery. And you were the one who hopefully were smart enough to have picked the right settings in the first place. A smart charger is different. It analyzes battery and then it charges it to the most efficient manner. Look at this chart above and we'll see the steps that take place during the battery charging. Watch this graph and remember volts and current. We're talking about volts being the pushing force and the amps is the flow of current. In steps one and two it checks the battery connections and it analyzes the battery's condition. In steps three we start the charging process with a gentle charge. So instead of just bombarding it with full voltage, it starts out on a soft charge. In steps four and five, we begin and continue the bulk process based on the analysis that it first made, and it charges the battery up to about 80%. Now in step six, it's beginning to slow down or it tapers the process and brings that charge to a level of about 90 percent charge. This limits battery gassing which can be dangerous. Now in step 7 it finalizes the charging process and it brings the battery to its maximum capacity. Now in step 8 your battery is fully charged. If you leave it plugged in now we're entering the maintenance charge. In other words, if it's plugged in, it's going to continually monitor that battery and charge it and keep it at an optimum level. So in other words, it'll go on and off as needed to keep that battery fully charged. That's more for a bench charging or a long-term charging. So back to my vehicle now. I'm going to hook up the NOCO Genius battery charger, turn it on, walk away, and when I come back, the battery will be fully charged. So we're hooked up and ready to go. It's hot out here. I'm going to go in and get some iced tea. If you'd like more information on the NOCO products, simply go to NOCO.com. If you decide that you do want to buy one, I'd appreciate it if you'd buy it through the link on my tools page at RealFixUsRealFast.com.